final. Yep, and Wuffenden has made gate three work previously. Can he do it again, the world champion? He's on one wheel. He goes into that first turn. Can he get the drive? Zegar's looking good around the outside. Lindgren is third right now as Zegar comes through. Hancock's at the back, and that means if it stays like this, Christoph Kasperzak, who hasn't ridden tonight, will still lead the world championship going into the next round in Prague, round number four. But Ty Wuffenden has the lead. It's going to take something special for Zegar to get him, but he's closing in on him. Yeah, Zegar's fast in second place. Superstar from Ty Wuffenden. He's out in freight gate three, working well for him once again. Hancock lifted on the inside, and that has killed any chance of him getting on the rostrum at this stage. Wuffenden's out in front. Zegar is fast. Really fast in second place, putting loads of pressure on the world champion. Sweeps to the outside. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Zegar then takes the lead. Zegar into the last lap, has the lead. Is he on the verge of his first ever Grand Prix victory? Wuffenden has gone wide. Third place is Freddy Lindgren, but this is going to be a magical moment for Matty Zegar. He's going to take his first ever Grand Prix victory. Matty Zegar of Slovenia. What a memorable moment for him. Many congratulations to Matty Zegar. Took advantage of Wuffenden's slip. Can Wuffenden make it count off gate number three? He's not got the best of starts that time. Hancock off the outside. What a start. Whoa. Hancock gets the drive there from a rut, but just manages to hold the lead superbly. What a move from Greg Hancock. Ty Wuffenden second. Oh. Darcy Ward third all over the back wheel of each other. Sensational speedway here in the final in Cardiff. Fabulous start from Hancock. This time Wuffenden didn't get the drive he was looking for. Didn't quite get there. Hancock somehow got the bike round the outside. Ward is lurking in third place, working the track inside and out. The world champion on the inside of Hancock. Hancock running wide again. Wiffenden looking for a way through. Fabulous speedway in the final. Back in 07, Harris hunting down Hancock. Wiffenden's hunting down Hancock. Oh, Ward hunting wide. down Wiffenden. Got wide. Nigel because he throws second place away. He responds. Gets back in the second place. Into turns three and four for the final time. Oh. And Greg Hancock is going to win in Cardiff. Yet again, Wuffenden almost hits his back wheel. <laughs> Hancock wins in Cardiff. Hugely popular win for Greg Hancock. Ty Wuffenden second, Darcy Ward third, Kasper Zak at the back. What a result, what a performance. Wuffenden leads the World Championship, but Hancock is breathing down his neck and he's a hugely popular winner here in the Millennium Stadium. Here we go, grand final, take two. Tate tries, can Smarshley get there again? Yes, he has! It's an even better start than the first one. Zegar tries the inside now. Will he close the door? Smarshley! Bartosz Smarshley has the lead! It's Matty Zegar second. Christoph Kasperzak in red coming around the outside. Jepsen Jensen at the back and they're all bunched up. But Bartosz Smarshley is on the verge of something special as Kasperzak comes back for more. Fabulous race going on behind Bartosz Smarshley. The youngster comes storming out of gate four. Bart himself to the front. Zegar back into second place. Brilliant move from him. Kasperzak pushing all the hard. Jepsen Jensen now around the inside. 19 years of age. Third on the roster in this Grand Prix two years ago. Can he now finally pick it up on the win on the night? Into the last lap we go. We have never had a winner of a Grand Prix this young. Bartosz Smarsnik on the verge of making history as the youngest ever winner of a Speedway Grand Prix. Bartosz Smarsnik, remember the name. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarsnik. Fabulous away from the start on the outside. Dreamland once again has ridden out of his skin this evening. The place has gone bananas, and rightly so. They love their speedway in this town, and they've got a new hero to support. The two poles on gates two and three, keep your eyes on them. Hancock's been fast all night, but he's been outgated there by Yara Campbell in blue. Now coming up the Ward. inside is Darcy Ward brilliantly. And here comes the man in blue, Hampel again, and Kasperzak in white around the outside. The Poles are carving up the final here in Bidgosh. Ward's not out of it yet, having a go. Hancock's at the back. Kasperzak and Hampel having a go here down the back straight. Ward's still in the mix as well. What an opening lap of speed where that was. Kasperzak 
didn't make the best of starts, but got himself to the front by the end of the first lap. Ward round the outside, off the fence, coming into turn one for the second time of asking. Right out wide, Kasper Zek on the inside, look out for Ward, Ward's done him! Up the inside, brilliant stuff from the Australian, superb move from there. Kasper Zek now, can he respond? Superb final. Into the last lap we go, a fantastic move from Ward, he has the lead. Kasper Zek's all over him though, down that back straight we go. One last gas swoop, Ward holds mid-track, Kasper Zek switches, Kasper Zek switches on the inside! Oh, what a move coming out of the last corner. Absolutely fabulous ride from Kasper Zek. Ward looked like he had it all sewn up. The Poles are delighted with that. Kasper Zak overjoyed. First time he's won a Grand Prix. What a performance. What a move on the last corner. And Jim Lawrence of Great Britain is our referee. Finger on the button. Tape tries, and it's a good start from Christoph Kaspersak, who takes out Lindgren. Coming up the inside is Pedersen now, but Kaspersak holds the lead. Smolinski at the back now. Smolinski comes through into third, but Kaspersak appears to have this race under control. Battling against illness, he's been in bed throughout the week because of flu, and has got the lead here in the opening round of the World Championship with Nicky Pedersen in second place right now. And Martin Smolinski is trailing at the back once again. Yeah, the inside gate working well for Kaspersak. He was able to get up to the banking and get the grip, and he got himself to the front. It's not all over this because they really are queuing up behind him. Pedersen, Smolinski round the inside. The German beginning to make his mark on the race as well. Kaspersak just about hanging on out in front. Nicky Pedersen working the inside line, as is the German. Wow, oh, Pedersen now is the front. Oh, my oh. goodness, how close was that? That could have ended in tears. Down the back straight, Smolinski! Oh. Where has he come from? It's last to first. Is he going to hold on? He's clapping the inside line beautifully. It's magnificent. Magic, Martin Smolinski! What a result for the German. He came from nowhere. Fabulous speedway. He worked the inside. A remarkable performance from him. A surprise winner, but a deserved win on the night.